What's up, guys? Welcome back. Hotside Broadcasting coming back to you guys again here today. Race 26. Or this is after 26, so race 27. There's officially 10 races. Thanks happening. Alright, we're good. There's officially 10 races left in the 2002 Series Season 1. We are in the playoffs. This is playoff race number one. You guys can see the standings on the board. This is going to continue to track regular season standings. It's going to continue to track it in the 2002 points format. You know, obviously, Larson almost 4,000 points. Not really realistic in today's point system. It's not even possible in today's point system. Um, heck, I guarantee you last place, Ty Dillon, probably has more points than... Yeah, uh, 1,800 points. Then, yeah, so that's more points than what guys in today's... Guys in today's system probably wouldn't even have 1,000 points right now. Um, but anyway, we're going to continue to track it in points format. So pretty much just going to give you guys a rundown. You know, Kyle Larson, regular season champion, four wins on the season, leads the series. He comes in with 35 points. Um, he's plus 34 from the cut. Um, Denny Hamlin second. He's like fourth or fifth in the standings. Um, only two wins, but... Um, you know, fell down. He's behind Chastain, behind Truex, behind Byron. Um, some guys with more wins than him, obviously. You know, Truex and Chastain with five. Um, Larson again with four. Byron with three. Bell, Hamlin with two. And then Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick. And then you got to look way down here. Brad Kozlowski and Bubba Wallace all with a win. Elliott, Gibbs, Harvick, Blaney, and Suarez. No wins. And as you can see, Bowman's ahead of Suarez, but in our point system, Suarez beat out Bowman for the last playoff spot. Um, Bowman, Suarez on down is out, except Kozlowski and Wallace. Of course, they won their way in. Um, wins are important, obviously, and they won their way into the playoffs. So, with that being said, Kozlowski and Wallace, with their win, actually come in plus four on the cut. Elliott obviously gets four playoff points from where he finished in the top ten in the regular season standings, so he's plus three. Harvick is minus three. He has one point. He finished tenth in the regular season standings. He's eleventh on here, but he finished tenth. So Harvick is the first one out. He's minus three. And then Gibbs, Suarez, and uh, Blaney are all minus four. Elliott obviously is plus three. He has four points. Kozlowski, Wallace, Reddick, or... Er, those guys all have five points, etc. With that being said, we're going to get right into it. New Hampshire, baby. 60 lapper. I want to say this is the second New Hampshire race this season. Obviously, they only race their one time now. Truex and Hamlin up at the top of the board. There's Elliott right around that cut line. He's fifth. Kislowski comes in. You know, sixth. That's good for him. He comes in right above the cut. Wallace right above the cut, 11th. You know, we go down here, gotta watch for Gibbs, watch for Harvick, watch for Suarez. They're down there pretty far. Those guys are the furthest down of all the playoff guys. Of course, a win gets you in. I doubt a non-playoff guy is going to get a win, but we will see. A lot of um, news has been brought out for cars next season. Pretty much the roster is pretty much set for next season already. Here we are. Hamlin in the wall, off a of two, three wide down the backstretch. Way to start the playoffs. Not a good first set of corners for Hamlin. Going to continue to lose some spots here. Started second. He's back to like fifth or sixth already. Round of 16. Race number one. Bush, Wallace, Blaney, all these guys in the playoffs here. Bowman and Bush, it looks like the top two guys that are not in the playoffs right here. Um, ahead of Gibbs and Harvick and some playoff guys, so. Bell sends it in underneath Blaney. Elliott still has not won a race yet this season, but boy, has he come on strong the last four or five weeks. He hasn't won, like I said, but a lot of, I mean, he dominated Darlington. Um, he got second at, um, I 
forget what, what track it was. You know, but last four or five weeks, he's been top five. He's been contending. He's led laps, which is something he really hasn't done all season. So we will see if he can't come on strong, maybe get a win here in the playoffs. But he's definitely still a contender. He's got Reddick all over him. As Elliott runs third right now. Chastain and Truex, the two with five wins in the regular season. Playoffs are here, and those two are the ones out front. Martin Truex Jr. and Ross Chastain, one of them trying to get six wins on the season. Elliott, Reddick, and Byron starting to get pretty close here. Hamlin, Larson. Kyle Busch, Kozlowski, and Blaney, the top 10, and then Bell and Wallace racing back here, 11th and 12th. Bowman not in the playoffs. Logano, you know, won Talladega earlier this season, hasn't had another win. He came close, got passed on the last lap at the first Richmond race by William Byron. You know, he's been close, he's been good, but he's kind of, for the last 10 races or so, he's just kind of been off. He's been about a 10th to 15th place guy. So running 14th right now. You know, can Logano at least get out of the first round? We will see. 14th is not uh, where he wants to be. Busher behind him, not in the playoffs. And you got Harvick and Gibbs and Suarez, the bottom three here. Last three playoff guys. You've got Cindric and Stenhouse and some non-playoff guys back here. But as we go back towards the front, Kyle Busch in eighth. Finally, he broke through and got a win at Bristol a couple weeks ago. Him and Elliott were, you know, top five, top seven, eight in points really all season, but just haven't hadn't won. And Bush finally got in victory lane. Um, was, you know, pretty much the best car at Bristol and, and won Bristol. And Elliott still has not found victory lane, obviously. Can Ross Chastain close in and get by Truex here? Of course, you know, locking your way into the next round. Obviously, it gives you some more bonus points to start the next rounds with, so obviously a win super important for all these guys here. I really do expect to see both these guys in the championship four. Chastain and Truex have been extremely good, um, so it'll be interesting to see who can get it done here in this series. Truex, a veteran. Chastain, got a lot of years left. Elliot putting a small gap back on Reddick, and Reddick has company. Byron and Hamlin right there. And Larson. Ten laps into this 60 lapper. Byron is all over Reddick. I'm actually curious. Ford has only won, I think Ford has won two races this season. One with Logano and one with Kislowski. I think that's it. Busher hasn't won. Harvick hasn't won. You know, Busher's not even in the playoffs. Really, the only Fords that really have been talked about this season. You know, look at the wins for Chevys and Toyotas. You have five for Truex, five for Chastain, so that's five for Toyota and Chevy. So five for Toyota, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven wins for Toyota. And then Chevy is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, so 13 wins for Chevy, 11 for Toyota, and 2 for Ford. So yeah, pretty, you know, it's been back and forth for a lot of the Chevys and Toyotas teams. Ford has just not been great this year, though. They had pretty many cars in the playoffs. Well, actually, that may not be true. Blaney and Logano and Kozlowski. Is that it? Yeah, just three. Just three. Four, or four with Harvick. With Harvick, so four of them. So we will see if they can't get any more cars in the playoffs than that. 
lap traffic 13 seconds back is Cody Ware, and they're running 29 second lap time, so we won't see lap traffic for a while yet. Shrex is probably him and Chastain. Probably, well, I don't know about Chastain because lap traffic is an opportunity for him to get by Truex, so Truex probably happy to, to see that, but imagine they'll get to lap traffic eventually. Ryan Blaney running 10th right now. Christopher Bell all over him. Bubba Wallace. It's going to be interesting to watch uh, Wallace and Kozlowski because they wouldn't be in the playoffs if it wasn't for their wins. It would be Busher and Bowman. But instead, with Kozlowski getting his win and Wallace getting his win second race of the season, you know, back then probably didn't realize just how much that win meant, but it meant quite a bit as Bubba Wallace wouldn't have been in without that win. Same with Kozlowski. So it'll be interesting to see how far into the playoffs they can go. Starting off with those five bonus points, obviously. Logano. Right there. Comes in with five bonus points for his win. Plus, I think he finished in the top ten in standings. I think he got like three bonus points for that or something like that. Harvick, Gibbs, and Suarez falling off here. Those three right around that cut. All three of them. Those are the three of the four that come in negative. So they're not going to gain any points that way. The only one that's negative that came in and is actually beating some guys is uh, Blaney right there in 10th. Of course, we come into a race where guys DNF and wreck. That's obviously going to be a big factor as well. So that's something that really hasn't been considered too much. We <laughs> Long train here. Elliot Reddick, Byron Hamlin, and Larson under a blanket here. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. As Chastain has caught Truex. I believe these were the two that were really good here earlier this season. Of course, I believe this is the one Truex won. Actually, Chastain may have won this one. I'm not sure. These two were good here, I believe, earlier this season. But I couldn't tell you who won it. I don't know. Heck, they both won five times. Ten wins between the two. Trying to make it 11 as they are 1-2 right now. Martin Truex Jr., Ross Chastain. Threats to win the championship this season. We are 20 laps into this 60 lapper. Not sure how far they can go on gas, but probably won't see pit stops for a little while yet. They... They probably hope to at least get halfway through this race before we talk about pit stops because then they only got a pit once. Chastain running really high there, losing some time to Truex. We've got passes here, Hamlin all over William Byron. Regular season champion back here in seventh, Kyle Larson. Four wins on the year. Hamlin only has two, even though he's been quick, though. Last five, six, seven races, Hamlin has not been, I'd say, even really a top five car. He's been like sixth to seventh or eighth, you know, I feel like every week. And right now, he's about sixth, right? Yeah, sixth. Be interested to see if Hamlin can't turn it on. You know, he looked like a championship favorite the first ten races or so, him and Larson. And... I'd say he's been the fifth or sixth best guy last ten weeks or so. William Byron has turned it on. Um, Reddick is really inconsistent, so you can see he's running fourth right now, but he's just so inconsistent. I'm just not sure. I think Reddick's going to get that far in the playoffs, being as inconsistent as he is. Um, him and Elliott, obviously Reddick's only one came at a super speedway. Hamlin underneath Byron now. You know, be interested to see what Reddick and Elliott can do. Not coming in with many bonus points. You know, Reddick didn't even finish in the top 10 in standings. He was 11th, I believe. Right behind Kevin Harvick. In his last season, Josh Berry to replace him at the end of the season.
Truex and Chastain are just driving away here. They're all the way up to, well, they're about a second and a half over Elliott. But with no lap traffic for a while yet, still another 10 seconds or so before they start getting a lap traffic. We come to lap 26 here of 60. So all 16 playoff drivers are inside the top 18 right now in the running order. Suarez, Gibbs, and Harvick, of course, all come in minus, and they're the bottom three of the playoff guys. Yeah, Bowman there in 13th, and Busher in 15th, and the first two guys to miss the playoffs. They hope to be more of, you know, contenders next year. It's really, it's got to be hard for Bowman. You know, he's well off of his teammates every week. You know, Elliott third, Byron fifth, and Larson seventh right now. You got Bowman in 13th, you know. Larson's won four times, Byron three. You know, that's got to put pressure on Elliott, but at least Elliott's, you know, contending for wins, leading laps, top ten in points, you know, running third right now. Bowman didn't even make the playoffs. You know, it was a really rough per first half of the season. It took him forever to even crack the top 20 in points, DNFs, wrecks, bad finishes. Started to get it going a little bit. Um, just came up about 15 points or so short of making the playoffs, so. Looks like Blaney has dropped two spots. He's lost a spot to Christopher Bell and Keselowski as they are 9th and 10th. Blaney back to 11th, the other one that came in minus. Um, Keselowski and Wallace again come in with... They come in plus because they have their wins. Martin Schurz and Chastain, almost a two-second gap now over Elliott. Almost halfway through this thing. As we look back here, it's really, a lot of announcements came. Some big announcements. So Eric Amarola, I guess we should start there. Because it's going to be a long kind of a chain effect here. Um, domino effect. What the heck am I saying? Chain, what the heck is that? Domino effect here. Eric Amarola announces he's retiring. To replace him, we already know the 38 is going to be Zane Smith next season. So they chose Todd Gilliland. As we know, the 10's a Ford team. The only Ford free agents that were current cup guys, Todd Gill and Harrison Burton. It's been announced to Benedetto back in the 21 next season over Burton. So Burton and Gillen are free agents. You had Benedetto and Zane Smith in their car. So Gillen is announced to drive the 10. Amarola retires. Um, you see the 42. It's been announced that'll be John Hunter Nemechek. So Noah Gregson, where's he going? It's been announced a couple weeks ago. High Side Motorsports, that's us, starting a team next season. I did not announce our driver or our number. I did. It'll be number 98. It'll be Noah Gregson next season. I actually didn't even announce the manufacturer. Probably be Chevy, but I'm not not guaranteed on that yet. We'll see. But Noah Gregson going there. Of course, Nemechek going to the 42. Ty Dillon been announced. He will not be back in the 77. That'll be Carson Hosevar. Almondinger re-signed in the 16. Trying to think of anything else. Hamlin signed a two-year deal in the 11. That's been a conversation all season. Will he return? Two-year deal for Hamlin. So Denny Hamlin will be back next season. All of Joe Gibbs Racing, all of Hendricks, all of Penske, all of the top teams have announced their drivers for next season. Um, uh, what else? Um, Stuart Haas remaining. Well, I can't even say that. Priest and Briscoe are staying. Of course, Amarula Harvick retiring. Josh Berry to the four. Todd Gill into the 10, you know, being replaced by Zane Smith in the 38, made him a free agent. I don't think anything big is going on in any of the top teams. Nothing's changing for Hendricks, Gibbs, or Penske, or RCR, or Trackhouse, or any of that. Roush staying the same, you know, Stuart Haas, the biggest team, making changes. Um, but of course, Highside Motorsports, we're starting our organization. Hopefully, we'll be competitive next season, at least somewhat. Um, thirty-four laps into this sixty-lapper, trying to think. Oh yeah, Rick Ware Racing has announced the fifteen and the fifty-one will have four-time drivers in it next season. Um, Justin Haley has been replaced in the thirty-one. This has been announced for a while. Daniel Hemrick to the thirty-one. Haley is going to Rick Ware Racing in the fifteen full-time, and Cole Custer has been doing part-time in the fifty-one this year. He's going full-time. So Rick Ware Racing going to have two full-time guys. 
You guys are probably wondering what's going on with the 78. That is where we got our charter from. So the 78 will not be full-time next year. At least not with the charter. They said they want to run part-time. And there's going to be a lot of part-time teams I do expect next season. So we will see what happens with that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I believe that is it. No manufacturer changes except 43 and 42 going to Toyota. Truex and Chastain putting on a clinic here. No caution so far through this one. It's been relatively clean. If I remember right, this New Hampshire race had a crazy ending last season, or last earlier this season. I think it went normal, and then I think at the end, pit stomps went crazy. And I'm not sure if we... I think, then this one have a caution at the end? I don't remember. Something... If I remember right, something crazy happened. Like, didn't the 5 and the 9 come out of pit road, and then, like, wreck, and then Chastain got the lead, or something? That may have not been here, but I kind of think it was. I'm pretty sure Chastain won this race earlier this season, but I don't think he dominated it. Him and Truex were quick, but I'm not sure. Redick has taken third from Elliott. Looks like Larson's gotten by Hamlin for sixth and seventh. Nothing else really changing here. Chastain looking to make a pass on Truex. Not going to have the momentum this time. Looked underneath him. Not quite going to get there, though. Chastain thinks he's a little faster. We will see if he can make a move. It's hard to pass here. We'll be coming to 20 to go next time by. Pit stops, I assume, will shake everything up. I try to look at how many laps of gas, but I come in the garage and it says 22 gallons, 94 laps. So I figure they wouldn't have to pit. But every every race it says that, and every race they pit. So we'll see what happens. Can't really guess on how much laps they can really go here. But Yeah, 2.6 second lead. Truex and Chastain have been dominating here. We are only a couple seconds away from lap traffic. I'm sure if we go to spectator mode, we can probably see it. Oh, yeah, a lot of lap traffic ahead of Truex, and it ain't that far ahead. Cody Ware, the first one they're going to get to. So that'll be an opportunity for Reddick, Elliott, Byron, Larson, and Hamlin, that group of cars, to cash these two, and that'll be an opportunity for Chastain to maybe get by Truex. Or maybe Truex to pull away. We'll see who gets through lap traffic better. But it's been hard to pass here. So I assume, you know, they were ducking and diving around lap traffic last week at Richmond. They were flying through it. They lapped all the way up to mid-20s. I don't expect to see that here. I expect um, lap traffic to kind of hold these guys up here. Richmond was a really good race. That one was awesome. Blaney passed Kozlowski. 10th and 11th there. There we are. They are on the 51 of Cody Ware. Three second gap over third. Chastain all over Truex. Truex looking low on Cody Ware. Not going to waste any time. And they are going to get by him. I thought he'd hold him up a little more. Both these guys not going to waste any time. Chastain not clear of Cody Ware though. Mm, that's going to hurt Chastain. How much time do they lose? Anything? No, they still gained two tenths during that whole sequence, so that was impressive. We will see how they can get by Cody Ware now when he falls back to them. Coming to 15 to go here. 
I don't think either of these guys is going to have any problem getting out of the round of 16. Unless something happens, they should get through the round of 12. The round of 8 is where it's going to be. Truex has been so dominant this season. Now they come up on Ryan Newman in the 15. Truex putting a gap on Chastain. As they continue to pull away from third. So I don't think those guys are going to be a factor here. Unless these guys start getting held up. Truex not wasting any time with these lap traffic. I figured they'd hold him up a little more. But he gets underneath him down the straightaway. And he's going. Can he get right by Newman? He's just kind of catching him in a good spot. And now Chastain. I've, typically it hurts the leader, but it's hurting Chastain more than it's hurting Truex. Yeah, see Chastain going to get held up by Newman now throughout this corner. And now he looks underneath Newman. He's going to be six or so tenths back. Seven tenths back. But now Truex is getting held up a little bit here by Ty Dillon. He's got Dillon, Gregson, and uh, Balicki in front of him. Maybe not. That looks right under Ty Dillon. Not wasting no time. But Chastain is coming now. Trying to get a double whammy. He's going to get by Gregson here too. Here comes Ross though. Ross ain't going to be but two or three tenths behind him now. Three tenths back. Now it's Ross's turn to get underneath Ty Dillon. Trying to slide in between Dillon and Gregson, it looked like. Now he's underneath Gregson. Now it's Truex's turn to get by the 78. Not going to pull down in this corner, though. Justine's going to be right there now again. Two tenths back. Byron is now third. Elliot back to... So now that whole running order is different now. Byron, Reddick, Larson, Elliot, ha Hamlin. So those guys are racing back there. They are starting to gain a little bit. We're coming to 10 to go this time. Still waiting on pit stops. Because I do think they're going to pit. No matter when. Now they come up on Harrison Burton. Him and Ty Dillon, the only two drivers in this field right now that do not have a ride for next season. We will see what happens to them, too. Now, nobody between Hamlin and Truex. A good 5 tenth gap. Truex looking underneath Byron, or Burton. He is going to get there. He's going to use him up a little bit. He used Harrison Burton up a little bit right there. Now it's Chastain's turn. Nine to go this time. And they're pulling back away from Byron, as I assume he's starting to struggle with lap traffic. So, 3.6 back now, those guys are. It's going to be between these two. Justin going to need to use lap traffic as a pick. And I don't know, is there even any more lap traffic in front of him? They got by it pretty quickly. There is, but Gillen's pretty far up there, and it's just one car. And then there's a big gap back to the next group of cars. They're not going to get past Gillen, I would say. They might get to Gillen, but they're not getting any further than that. So it's just going to be one lap car. So Chastain, a little slower than Truex right now, losing time as well. Not good for Chastain. Truex trying to get his sixth win of the season. Him and Chastain have dominated this race. This has been one of Truex's playgrounds, too. He's always been good in New Hampshire. We've seen Truex sweep the Pocono races this year. We saw Byron sweep the Richmond races this year. Truex may have won this race earlier this season, but I think it was Chastain. So can Chastain be the third driver to sweep? The races at a certain track this season? Or can Truex do it a second time if he won this race earlier this year? I, I think it was Chastain, but I'm not 100% sure. But if Truex can do it, you know, he'll be one of two drivers to do it, but he'll be the only driver to do it at two tracks, so do it twice. 
He is on Gillen. This is an opportunity now for Chastain. He did not make the pass, so he's going to get held up in this corner here, but he's looking underneath into Gillen a little bit. He's been aggressive. Now Chastain's turn to go right by Todd Gillen. And now there's no more lap traffic. Five to go. Are they going to pit? Is it going to be the same way it was last time? A smooth, non-chaotic race all the way to the end and then pit stops happen? Because that's going to throw this playoff race off for a loop. Because when pit stops happen, it, sh it does shake the running order up a little bit. I believe a caution happened last time when they tried to pit and all that. So I'm not sure. It all happened on, like, the last lap, too. Like, it was just insane. Coming to three to go. And they might get to more lap traffic. Chastain is on Truex. There is more up here, but I'm not sure that it's going to make a, any kind of a difference. Yeah, you saw some guys are coming off of pit road. Almendinger just came off of pit road right there. So do, do these guys pit this time? They're probably going to pit before this race is done. Not this time. It's going to be crazy again, I'm telling you. Could somebody that doesn't deserve to win this race win it? We will see. Truex getting by Almirola here. And a lot of cars in front of him now. I'm not sure if they all just came out of pit road or what. I assume they probably did. Two to go. Come into the white flag, Chastain to the outside of Truex. They do not pit. So white flag here. Do they pit come into the checkered? None of these guys pitted yet either. Almendinger actually, I think, was the only car to pit in this entire field. Going by lap cars, Chastain on him through three and four for the final time. They do not go down pit road. Martin Truex Jr. comes to the line and wins his sixth race of the season, and he is in the round of 12. Did anybody come down pit road? Chastain second. Byron, Reddick, Larson, Hamlin, Elliott, Bell, Bush, Blaney, Kozlowski. Looks like all the playoff guys did not do anything dumb. All right. Almendinger. I don't know what happened to him, but he had to go down pit road. This is it. Race one of the playoffs is in the books. Truex, sixth win this season. Dover next. And guess who dominated Dover earlier this season? Who's Truex and Chastain, those two. All right. See you guys at Dover. Peace.